Today I show you three things about drum tuning that even professional players often don't know about. And I'm really curious about which one will surprise you the most. So let me know in the comments and let's go. When you're evening out a drum pitch wise, consider this. Every opposing pair of lugs is even. Check it out. Let's see what happens if I turn another lug. Interesting, right? You can find examples where people are actually evening out opposing logs on the drum, which basically makes no sense at all. As long as you hit the same spot on your drum, and as long as you don't have any logs that are insanely off, opposing logs will always have the same pitch. Now this is cool because instead of evening out all logs of a drum, we only have to even out half of them, which makes drum tuning way less time consuming and frustrating. But remember, this is only about pitch. The tension of two opposing lugs can be very different. And when the tension is different, this can prevent our drum head from resonating freely. So first we even out the tension, then we even out the pitch by thinking in pairs. Here's a quick walkthrough so you can see how this actually works. I dropped the tension of the whole drum head so it's going to be completely loose now. And now we're going to finger tighten all the screws by thinking in pairs. And after we did that, we're gonna raise the whole drum head, also in pairs. I'm gonna use two drum keys for that. And we're slowly raising the pitch. If you only have one drum key, it doesn't matter. Just keep thinking in pairs and go lock after lock. This is also called leveling because we're trying to get even tension on the whole drum head. And after we did that, we can already check the pitch. So this lug seems to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to drop the whole pair just a tiny bit because I'm dropping two screws at once. And we're about even. Um, cool thing, I already know the whole drumming is going to be about even because opposing lugs sound the same. There's friction between the drum head and the shell. So when I lower the tension of one lug, it might not fully translate to pitch because of that. That's also why some people compare tuning drum heads to tuning guitar strings. So if I wanna have a lower pitch on one lug, I will go even lower and then bring the tension back up again till I end up at my desired pitch. Bottom line, if I'm only raising tension, I will have no friction problems and I will end up with a stable tuning but that's not entirely true. Let me show you. This drum head is completely loose. It's over six months old and it's very well played in. I'm gonna raise the tension of the whole drum head now. And since I'm only tightening lugs, I should have no friction problems, right? So the note I'm ending up with should be really, really stable. Let's see where we are. Now, what would happen if I actually played that drum now so for 10, 15 minutes? I'm gonna simulate that by doing this. And the whole pitch dropped. So if you wanna make sure to get a real stable tuning, just give your drum a little slap every now and then. 
Okay, now it gets really weird. We have a 12 inch tom here, which I tuned for maximum sustain. So it's really long. Let's put it on our tom holder and see how that turns out. So apparently this tom holder has a few, few positions that sound really good and a few positions that sound really awful. Here's another 12 inch tom, let's have a listen. Let's fix it. So remember to check if your drums are still able to resonate freely when they're mounted. There can be lots of issues, even with expensive drums, and most of them can be fixed somehow. Conclusion, well, think in pairs, slap your drums, check your tom holders. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to comment, ask questions, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more drum hacks. Bye.